Hi everybody and welcome back to my daily yoga practice. I'm Juliet and today I prepared for you 40 minutes beginner to intermediate, very healing, very nurturing yoga flow. And as always, I want you to stay connected with yourself, focus on your breathing, don't worry about results, just do the best what you can. I will guide you through, I will give you all modifications, I will challenge you and you guys will do your best. So let's begin our flow. Alright guys, so let's begin seated here and bring your hands right on top on your knees. Let's close our eyes and just as always, set a good, loving and nurturing intentions for this practice. So let's begin. So let's close our eyes and just take a good, deep, beautiful breath inhalation through the nose and exhalation through the nose as well. And let's slowly start to bring an attention inside that body. Continue to breathe slowly and maybe even feeling your hands touching your knees, your feet touching your mat. And as always, let's set a loving intentions for this practice. Not to compare, not to judge, just enjoying the flow and being grateful for what this body can do for us, not what it's can't. So with that, let's open up our eyes and reach all the way through the side, guys. Good work. And take those arms back down again. Let's do it a couple more times. Reach all the way up. And exhalation back down. On the next one, let's go ahead and connect the hands all the way behind. And we will begin our warm-up, seated warm-up. So let's take the hands up. Look up, give yourself a big smile and fold forward gently. Bring those hands up front of the forehead, guys. And then reach all the way up. Look up towards the ceiling. Good work. And exhalation all the way back. Let's do it just one more time. Reach up and open. And this time, maybe open a little bit deeper and take your hands all the way behind the crown. Release those hands and let's continue with the side bends, with the lateral bends. And of course, guys, if you can't reach so deep, you can barely touch the fingers on the floor and don't go as deep, but try to avoid folding forward, right? We want to stay straight to the lateral line here. And just a few more, guys, side to side, gently waking up. Then let's go ahead and continue to expand a little bit farther. So somewhere like a 45 degrees behind your back that will allow us to open up and prepare you know, a little bit differently. Just open the different compartments of our spine. And let's give it just a couple more times. Right and left, left and right. Excellent. And let's continue with the shoulder rolls. Waking up those shoulders. Any direction, guys. Forward backwards whichever feels right and then let's reverse the movement so all the way to the opposite direction great job and then reach all the way to the sides all the way big strong reach and go ahead and give yourself a big hug good quality hug maybe fold forward maybe don't fall forward if you can't reach Maybe you can release the arms and then fall forward and notice which arm is on top. We're going to give ourselves a hug with the extension to the other direction. Hug yourself really, really nicely. Close your eyes, guys, or keep them open and fall forward. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Undo the hands and put the one arm on the floor, hand or elbow or both of them. In the, or barely touching the fingertips and do the same from the other side. Big reach all the way, all the way guys. Wonderful. Come back all the way to the center and we're going to continue with the circles. Right around. Big ones. You might start shallow and then expand them. Do the one direction first. Mm -hmm. Relaxing the shoulders, relaxing the arms, allow this body to flow all the way through. In 
and one more and let's go ahead and reverse this circle all the way to the other side great work guys right to left and left to right with the time try to increase the range of motion of course if it's there and just one or two more very good and then come back to the center give yourself a few shoulder rolls again just a few ones in the opposite direction and let's go ahead guys and make the transfer to our knees so we're gonna make a transfer towards our knees and hands guys let's as always make sure that the wrist elbow shoulder stack one on top of another we will continue with a little hip circle just a few circles to one direction and then few circles after that to the opposite direction take your time move as slow as you need or as fast as you want try to keep the elbows soft the knees soft if you need to pad your knees pad those knees and reverse it again just a few to the first direction which we started and then few to the other direction again very good guys mm -hmm. do a few more couple more great job and then from here we're gonna go and tuck the toes and hover the first time if hover guys is too much for you send your knees on the floor rest recover come back again so do the best what you can i'm going to guide you through i'm going to push you through as well we want to have a good joyful healthy and strong practice at the same time if that's coming really really good with you guys go ahead and touch your opposite knee with one hand keep on breathing you can also release the knees back on the floor and do it with the knees on the ground tabletop let's switch that keep on breathing through the nose in through the nose out good more guys take your hands back slowly extend those knees to the first downward facing dog we begin here by bending the knees bringing the knees a little bit closer to the elbows and exhalation relax restore drop the head knees down all the way and exhalation all the way back relax the neck drop the crown just a few more times guys make sure when you are in your downward facing dog your neck is free and spacious right and just one more great job let's do a little dynamic floor by reaching to the opposite ankle if ankle is not available then you can do it to your thigh up here you can also go to your tabletop and do that in your tabletop please maintain evenness in the boys legs and once you reach the one arm make sure it doesn't hurt your other shoulder so shift the weight more towards the hips one more guys very good so 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 proud of you we continue to warm up so walk with me towards the plank guys you can always take your knees on the floor and do your plank with your knees grounded we're going to do a few dynamic moves side plank back to the plank and it can be the side plank on your knees so start your move with me reach up and open then roll those heels to the other side up and open beautiful and just let's do a couple more from each side and up big press of course you can do more than i did or less right just listen to your breath rhythm one more time excellent job guys walk back with me to that downward facing dog relax the neck bend your knees this time one knees and another knee great job couple more we're gonna do a few dynamic flows through the chair pose little back bend back to the downward facing dog through full vinyasa or you can just use your knees on the floor as a tabletop look forward my friends bend those knees and step walk or hop halfway neutral spine full forward fold look halfway through bend those knees utkata asana or chair pose big press big reach and little back bend do not overdo it we just begin the practice take your both hands on the floor reach halfway through bend those knees and step walk or hop 
Push down, ready? That's where the full vinyasa you can just use knees on the floor. Let's say for your plank or don't hop. Instead hop, you can just walk back. Next time, relax the neck. Look forward, guys. I will walk with you instead of hop. This time, step walk or hop. Look halfway through. Full forward, fold or tenasana. Look halfway in this time. We're going to put one hand on the ground. Open up all the way to the other side. Extending, reaching, glowing through that heart. And on exhalation, fold forward. If you have to bend your knees, then bend your knees right now. Look halfway through, guys. Halfway through, great job. Put another hand on the floor and open up to the opposite direction. Expanding, reaching, space between the vertebrae in the spine, space between the ribs in the rib cage. Take it slowly back, my friends. Fold forward, bend your knees if you have to. Relax your neck. Look forward, halfway through. Utkata Asana, arms above the head, along the ears, or Namaste, up front of the heart. Especially if you have a back injury, big sweep. Go with me, guys. Flow, 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 a little bit deeper. This time, all the way. Exhalation, team, forward, fold. Let's look forward, guys. Step, walk, or hop with me back to the plank. Push down, chaturanga. Coming up. And back to the downward facing dog. Do not hurry up. Look inside. Sometimes maybe close your eyes when we're holding the asanas for longer. Just to assess what's happening. Are you practicing? Like an athletic point through the muscular strings? Or are you listening? What your body ready for and what it's not ready yet? Let's slowly take our right leg up all the way look underneath the right relax the neck drop the crown soften in the elbows and just a few nurturing movements bend your knee if you can do a few circles right and left internal and external rotation great job right all the way up my friends and slowly tap that foot outside just outside on the right and continue to straighten the downward facing dog if that's going really really well for you take this right arm and go ahead and reach over the ankle just like in our dynamic flow keep breathing guys keep on breathing <laughs> excellent take it slowly back i think you did great let's bend right and left knee Couple more times, watch it, it's fine. Now take your other leg up, look underneath. The left all the way, relax the neck. Bend your knee if you will. And do a few circular movements through the hip flexor. Avoid loading your shoulders too much, right? I want you to shift the weight, the tension back to the hips and seat bones. Extend that leg even more. And tap outside, outside. Square the hips, level the shoulders. First, find the stable position here. If that is already not, stay right up there. Activate the arm and take it all the way up. If it's there, if not, you don't have to do that. And slowly reach towards the opposite ankle, my friends. Relax the neck. Breathe actively. If you need to go to your child pose right away, go and do it. Let's go ahead and take both knees back. One more flow, guys. Look forward, step, walk, hop, halfway, fold, forward, fold. This time we're gonna work a little bit on the heels today and the toes. So let's go ahead and roll back. Great work. Take it forward and on the tippy toes. Excellent. Take it back. Good job. Achilles and hamstring, I feel it. Do you feel it, guys? I feel it all the way. Don't be shy. We need to have a strong ankles, strong toes, not just for the yoga practice, just so we can have a happy, healthy, active daily lives. One more time. Mm -hmm. Great work. Guys, we're going to rock side to side, just on the side of the foot, outer edge, and the outer edge. 
waking up the ankles even more outer edge in the outer edge one more time roll on the one side shift the weight support roll on the other side good work halfway neutral spine big up the belly reach up inhalation through the nose exhalation little back bend this time take your right towards the left reach up and open expand expand the heart expand the heart take it back and all the way to the other side left over to right expand 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 keep your knees soft hips forward and heart up all the way on the tippy toes find that balance ay, 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 ay. all the way forward let's look forward step walk or hop push down chaturanga hips up up dog and back to the downward facing dog all right we continue we're gonna go ahead and take the right leg up again and we will meet into the runner lunge first so guys runner lunge hold your hands on the floor front knee above the front ankle in the back knee if you have to put it down you can put it down See if you can hold it like that. Activate the core. Body weight is distributed in between each and every point. Stay with me, guys. Activate the kneecap on the extended leg. Come on up. Try not to crisscross, guys. Your hips, your knees as well. Hips are square. Reach up and open. Excellent job, guys. Keep on breathing. Keep on breathing. Do not give up. Stay with me, stay with me. What we're going to do, we're going to connect the hands to the mudra and reach the right, the right heel off the ground. Of course, if you can, if that is too much for today, hold that foot, guys, grounded. Keep on breathing. Stay with me. Rest in the child pose or take your left hand on the floor and open it up. And if you can still keep the heel elevated, that is excellent if not press the heel back on the floor activate the back leg keep the body strong engaged on fire but at the same time mind is calm and settled very good beautiful team take your slowly that heel back both hands on the floor step back full chaturanga or not a transition you can just set your knees on the floor and do it through the tabletop through the up dog or cobra back to the downward facing dog guys remember if you're a beginner and you feel that your back gets rounded and you get tired in your down dog bend your knees lift your heels expand through the shoulder blades relax your neck stay with me let's give it a couple soft full of energy flows just a couple of them very nice. In and out through the nose. Great job. Relax, restore, release. And we're ready to take our left leg up. Look underneath the left. Expand. No compression in the spine. Step forward, guys, to your runner lunge. Front knee, front ankle, back knee is elevated. And if you, of course, have to put it down, put it down. Activate both legs. We're holding it, keep on breathing with me. Exhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Think about something positive. We're building the strength, flexibility, and vitality in our body. If you're ready, guys, might happen. You have to put the back knee on the floor. Keep the hips square and open, reach up. Activate those arms, guys, no weak arms. Keep on breathing. Tommy, strong foundation on the feet. Breathe actively. Excellent. Only if you're ready. Mudra. And we're going to take the heel of the ground on the left leg. Keep on breathing. Insert nose. Out through that nose. Super strong, my friends. Good job. Insert the nose. Out through the nose. Rest in the child pose or flow with me. Take your right hand on the floor. Still keep the heel of the ground, of course, if it's there. And look up. Keep the back leg active, guys. Keep the back leg active. I am so proud of you. Take it back and step back through the vinyasa or no vinyasa at all. Just the tabletop. Take it back. 
to use that downward facing dog. Relax your neck. Drop the crown. Both hands super flat on the floor. And we're going to go for the active flow. And then I'm going to let you rest a little bit in Anahata Asana or extended puppy pose. Knees on the floor to the tabletop or hover in cow pose. Take it back to the downward facing dog. Knees to the hover or to the table. And all the way back. Exhalation. One more time. To the hover and cow face pose and back all the way. Excellent, guys. Let's go ahead. Take the knees on the floor and then we're going to be ready for the little balance today. So set the tailbone in between the knees. Knees slightly wider than the hips. I'm going to guide you through the few layers of this asana. If that is already a lot, that stay just right there. You can also be on the forearms if you have to. Rather than again, remember pushing the chest over the floor. We're going to expand and relax through the back. Collarbones are wide. And just let your body rest. Let's spend here a few breaths, guys. Navel in. If you want to go a little bit differently and farther with me, you can choose to take your times on the floor. To the side, guys, to the side. Mm -hmm. Please don't do it if you have a neck or back injuries, right? We're gonna spend here just a couple more breaths. Mm -hmm. And let's slowly set the hands a little bit wider than the mat and just round that spine, cat pose with the wide arms and bring the chin slowly down, send the elbows to the side, expand, exhalation, back, drop the chin slowly, both hands flat, enjoy the stretching, the expansion and extension in that spine, navel in on exhalation, relax your neck fully guys. Couple more. Feel good. Try to stay present in your practice. Don't think about how perfect your body looks doing that or how or how unperfect it is. It doesn't matter. Just enjoy the flow and eventually we restore, we recover, we set the body for the healing process. And one more time. Back to the center and then we're gonna do the side, little side. Extend the one arm and bend the other. Extend the one arm and bend the other. Keep on breathing, guys. Keep enjoying the movement. One arm is long and extended. Another elbow is bent and dropping the heart towards the floor. Let's do just a couple more. And one more. Beautiful. Come back to the center. Hopefully, you got a little bit rested. We're going to take the hands opposite direction or halfway through. If it's not there, you can also do the one hand straight and one straight in one reverse position, fingertips towards the knees. So stay right there if that's already challenging and it's sensitive for your wrist. Or start to shift the weight a little bit back and then forward, guys. Back and then forward. Good work. Back. And four, right? Let's take a couple more breaths up here. Or if you're stronger today, feel stronger today, then hover with me. Try to do, guys, when you hover, neutral, soft spine. Yeah, that's it. Feels so good. Take it back. Reverse the hands all the way. Take the right hand. Give yourself a half bear hug today. Good quality breaths. And let's recover, restore the other wrist. Half bear hug from the other direction. Good job, team. Mm -hmm. Let's take it back and extend those knees. Relax the neck all the way through. Find a good quality downward facing dog. Look forward and step forward. We're going to be ready, guys for the balance. So let's begin up here in a 
wide step and let's just wake up the hips a little bit more so we're gonna go for the side squat side squat if you have to lift your toes lift your heels do it that way and then flow with me to the opposite direction lift the toes and if needed lift the heels as well let's do just a few more it could be five six seven or eight maybe four or five depend how fast or how slow you moving make sure it feels right into those hip flexors ankles and wrist do a couple more guys don't give up just a couple more great job mm -hmm. excellent and let's slowly start to bring both feet together and coming up with me for the little balance today we're going to reach up and begin here on the tippy toes bend those knees chair pose the chair pose on your tippy toes if that is a little bit too much today then definitely put your heels back on the ground very nice guys sweep all the way reach up little back bend back to the chair pose on your tippy toes this time guys take your right hand and put it across the left wrap those elbows around the ears if that's not available then you're going to be using hands namaste up front of the heart stay with me guys inhalation through the nose exhalation forward fold halfway guys or fully when the palms touching the floor lengthening and elongating the spine back team to the chair pose i know Breathe actively. Take it all the way back. Little back bend, hips forward. In heart, up. All the way back. Back on the tippy toes. This time, left, guys. Around the right. And wrap those elbows in arms around the side of your head. Around the hair. Squat down. Stay with me, my friends. You can always choose to hold the hands up front of the heart instead. Heels back all the way, guys. Mm -hmm. And back to the squat. Keep on breathing. This time we will slowly extend the legs. Fold forward halfway or all the way. Hands touching the floor. Take your time, guys. Come back to the chair pose. Woo In all the way, undo the hands, take them on the back where the hamstrings reach up and forward with the hips and with the heart. Expand through the ribcage. Come back to the center. We're going to reach up, bring the right knee up and gently step back to the good quality lunge guys good quality lunge now we're going to practice today the hovering halfway circle just like a half circle of the clock dial so it's going to be so we're going to be stepping on the side it's going to be five four three two one and all the way back so open up your hands open up your elbows take the hands behind don't block stay with me in your lunge and we do one, two, three to the center, four, five, six. I know, stay low, slowly, guys. Expand the arms to the side, dancing goddess pose. Keep your balance with me. Inhalation through the nose, exhalation through the nose. Slowly, guys, draw this right ankle right on top for the little one-legged chair pose, my friends. Ooh, feels so strong feels so good mm, beautiful guys we have to reach those arms back and we're going to stay in the left leg lunge one two three four five six back to the lunge very good take your both hands up front take your time and elevate the right leg 
just simply balanced in seat or warrior three with the hands namaste up front very good keep on breathing if you have to touch the floor use the blocks or just simply touch the floor come back with me both feet grounded reach up in exhalation take your left leg up we're gonna go for this balance hovering half circle one more time step to the good quality proactive low line Take the arms on the side activate the body both legs active guys elbows to the side please actively in one over two three four five weight on the right leg touch all the way undo the arms in dancing goddess pose breathe actively guys breathe actively hmm. feels good slowly land the ankle on top of the right leg in squat is a chair pose one leg a gentle chair pose please make sure guys you are not loading the toes on the supportive leg shift the weight slightly back so that knee is unloaded are you ready we're going to take the arms back to the side tap the floor keep that leg in the lunge one two three four five six arms up heart open ready tap the floor make a transition you can choose to hold the hands grounded as long as needed today working on the process not on the results necessarily keep on breathing my friends great job come on back up reach all the way up big press expand that heart expand 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 in all the way forward fold now all right guys we're gonna go slowly return back on the ground so step back to your plank and push down with me slowly up all the way up dog or cobra so if you feel very sensitive today on your shoulders definitely take the hands slightly farther or maybe even take the elbows on the floor or come with me for the full up dog knees grounded or knees on above the floor keep on breathing keep on reaching stay happy shoulders away from the ears in through the nose out through that nose and let's slowly make a transition back to the downward facing dog reposing this up dog with me keep on breathing guys very good relax that neck slowly take your knees on the floor we're going to move the right up front left behind sitting on the heel guys not a pigeon pose but just sitting whole on the heel keep keep working on our ankles so from here if you have to just support yourself support or if you can fold forward deeper let's rest just for the few breaths try to release your upper body weight on that leg mm -hmm. very nice adjust a breath or two and then slowly returning back draw the other knee and switch my friends sitting right on the heel if that is not available then just of course put that foot wherever you can handle it today hands on the side fold forward or stay where you are very good mm -hmm. And just a couple more breaths. Very nice. Mm -hmm. Come on back out with me, guys. And bring your both knees up front. We're going to stretch the ankles for the few more breaths. And then we will go on the floor and lay down. So take your hands behind. And just simply lift the hips. If that is not there for you today, just work with the upper body we're doing something even if it's a one percent of the whole practice it's better than nothing focus on expansion and extension 
in that heart. Mm -hmm. And just a couple more times. Just a couple more times. Mm. And back to the center. This time we're going to open the knees and do the same with the knees open. Just an upper body, guys, over together with the hips. And just a couple more. Very good, my friends. One more and hold it with me if you can. Mm -hmm. Slowly take it back and let's bring the feet up front. Take your legs up front. Before we will lay down completely, take your hands behind. And if that is already low for your shoulders, shoulders can be super sensitive, so don't push it too hard, please. And so from here, you can just stay up here and focus on the relaxation in the shoulders, or you can continue to flow with the hands farther, or maybe feet farther, it's the same effect, just whatever is more comfortable for you to do. Please do not overdo it, guys. We slowly build the strength in the shoulders. If you hurt them, it's going to be a long time to recover. So make sure it's comfortable. Some asanas, we're pushing the boundaries. And some, I want you to be comfortable so you can easily leave the asana if you need to. Couple more. If you want to increase the resistance in the shoulders and build even more strength, only if it feels right, we're going to continue with the legs and by lifting the one leg you increase in the pressure on those shoulders so please be very aware of it make sure that you don't block your neck too much right and just a few more guys be very mindful very mindful oh that feels so good and just a couple more my friends mm -hmm. Slowly, guys, release the shoulders back on the floor. Extend those arms all the way through. Give your body good quality stretch like you just woke up. Let's bring the legs up and give your legs a good straddle. Draw the tailbone towards the floor. We're going to do a few abdominal crunches to keep that body super strong, to keep those abs lean in beautiful waistline so lift your shoulders over the floor and just reach seven six five four from the center guys three two one and hold guys hold nicely from the all the way from the center from the third chakra so from the manipura center of commitment of power of achievement stay with me my friends and put your both legs together and crunch. Seven, six, towards the toes. Five, use the center, not your neck. Neck is free. Four, three, two, my friends. Up, point your toes and find the connection. For the four, three, two, one. Hands behind and lower hold guys low supported neck navasana keep on breathing low boat try to make sure that your lower back grounded my friends hold for a few more breaths three two we actively using the belly breathing legs on the floor and a good quality straight again i am guys so proud of you good work everybody and let's bend our knees and Set your knees feet wider. Give yourself a few windshield movements on those knees. All right. Hmm. Body needs some good physical work, that's for sure. And a couple more, my friends. Let's take the knees on one side and just hold it. Try to leave your chest up towards the ceiling. Close your eyes. Look inside, find that connection again. Mind, body, and true self, the true intelligence within us. And let's take the knees on the other side. Remain your arms on the floor. Take the 
gaze up and forward towards the ceiling. Try to relax the knees, the hips. Look inside again. That unique body which, which requires some work to be healthy, to be vital, to carry all our dreams and aspirations. Take your knees back on the floor. Give yourself a good hug. And slowly, guys, come on back up with me to the crisscross feet position right where we started. Close your eyes. Take your both hands on your knees first. Look inside. Then keep your eyes closed. Reach all the way up. Take a good quality breath. Draw everything you want to draw inside that heart, inside that body. Bring both hands in front of the heart as a true sign of the gratitude for everything we already have. Look inside. Find the strength and commitment. Open your heart for more good. Smile with your heart and flow through the rest of this day with a true unshakable peace inside no matter what happens externally. Namaste.